Hello, and welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper, and this is part four and the final part of our fixed gantry crane build. As you can see, we got our two columns set in, that was in part three. We got our beam modified in part three also, and the beam is up there. Um, I got that up by myself, surprisingly. Um, not the reach of the loader, what I could do. But I got it up there, it's in place. Now we're gonna set the clamps clamp the beam down with our those clamps we milled in part three, and we're gonna mount our, uh, our trolleys, which we bought some uh, rather inexpensive uh, trolleys to get us going until maybe another point when we can build some nicer trolleys, possibly, and I got some uh, two-ton chain hoist to hang from it. So let's, uh, let's get started. I'll bring the clamps in, and we'll... Uh, Probably start on this end. So the next step here is to get our trolleys um, hung. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make sure we have our spacers where we need them and have it where we want it. So we need to narrow this up almost an inch. We're gonna do it evenly. Take out four on each side. Because I want this as close as it can needs to be before I carry it up the ladder and try to hang it. Looks like that's about what I need. And the way I understand it is you put the spacers back on the outside when you're done or, or something to that effect. Or a couple. So let's get the first one up there and see how it goes. Um, these are just inexpensive Chinese chain hoists to get me going until I find some better quality ones, but 
they'll do what I need them to do. I'm only looking for one ton for this particular job that I built this for, and these are two ton each hoist and three ton trolley, so we should be good. So now let's let's give it a test run. Well, I'd say that's a success. Little forklift's about a, about six inches off the floor now. Now I can change the oil. That that really helps. Makes a big difference. So, yeah, she's hanging nicely. That's uh, pretty awesome. So that'll make that that uh, new work I got coming in go a lot better. So again, thank you, Doozer. Thank you for all your help. Um, and anybody who wants to see his videos, he's got a pretty cool channel, does some cool stuff. Link is in the description below. Check him out. He's a pretty nice guy. He's got some pretty neat equipment. I mean, he's got some neat stuff there. So, and he's, he's always adding on and growing. So check him out. He's got some fun stuff. And uh, with that, I'm going to end it here. This is part four and the final part of this, this build. So, um, you can visit our website, www.toppermachine.com, and also check out in the description below, there's links to Amazon products um, that we use here in the shop or have used in the past. Check that stuff out. Uh, I know that'll help you guys out with uh, whatever you're doing in your shop. So, and uh, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Um, subscribe share our videos around, just help us grow. As long as we're, we got people that want to see this, we want to keep doing this. So please help us out that way. And uh, until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.